We have published several scripts in Blender that can read from an Excel file and create various 3D animations like this. Now we have combined these scripts into one single add-on called 3D Data Visualizer. It's easy to install and more powerful. So no more hassles of working with separate scripts, we have everything in the form of an add-on that can convert your Excel files into data comparison videos. The download links are given below, we'll discuss about this add-on today, and remember that it's a paid add-on. To install this add-on, you need to first have this installation package. Now right-click on Blender and run it with administrative privilege. Once Blender opens, go to the Edit menu and open Preferences. Then go to the Add-ons tab and click on this Install button. Then we have to locate the installation file that we have downloaded, no need to unzip, just install it directly. Then enable this add-on by clicking on this checkbox and expand the add-on preferences. We have a message here about installation of some dependencies, it will install two more modules called Pandas and OpenPyXL. But before we install them, let us first open the system console from here. We can see the installation status in this window. Now again go to Preferences and click on Install Dependencies. Then switch over to the console screen to see the progress of the installation. It will take a few minutes, then you'll get the output. No need to worry about these green color warning messages, you should check whether the installation of Pandas and installation of OpenPyXL completed successfully or not. If they are correctly installed, this button will get disabled. You can also skip this step for now, or let's say if you get some errors in the installation, you can try to manually install these two packages later. Or in your Excel file, once you are ready with the complete data, you can simply go to Save As and save this file as CSV. You need to pick up this comma delimited option from the drop-down, it will work same as the Excel. This CSV file won't need any additional installation and it will give us the same output. Once the add-on is installed, you'll get some options under the object menu like this. We have one menu option for the bar graph, this is for the line graph, and for data comparison, we have two options, one for cycles, and another for EV. So let us first look at the bar graph. It will open an opera box with many options. We have to first pick up our Excel or CSV file here, that must follow a particular template, which you can open from here, or you can also get this template in the downloaded package. This third column is a mandatory column and it should have numeric data or numbers. Then you can add additional data in these columns, for additional bars and for the actual format of the data to be displayed. But don't make any changes directly into this file, first save a copy of this on your desktop and change there. Then we need to select that new file as our input Excel or CSV file. Next we have some color options in these fields. Then you can change the text size here. And you can slow down or speed up the animation by changing this field. You can enter the particular frame number when you want the animation to start. Then this normalize option is very important. It will keep the data bars always visible within the camera view, even if the actual numbers are very high, otherwise the data bars can go through the roof. Then you can enable this option to set up the camera movements and to add an appropriate light. Since everything is automatically set up here, you can render this composition with no further changes. Currently we are in the viewport, so some components may look a little jagged, but the actual render output will be super smooth as we saw in the demo. And we have entered three series of data in our Excel file, so we got three bars together for each data point. But you can keep only one series, or two series, leaving the other columns blank, then you'll have that many bars, for each month or each data point. So this was our bar graph generated through the add-on. Now let's take a look at the second option, which is the line graph. It has almost the similar options like the bar graph. We have to first enter the input Excel file or the CSV, and it should follow this template. Like before, this third column should contain only numbers, and you can also add another series in the next column for a second graph. We should not modify this template directly, so let's save a copy of this on our desktop and make all changes there. Then we'll use that file as our input. We have the same options, like the text size, animation speed, and the start frame. The normalization is more important here, because it is a line graph, so the graph can go out of the camera view if the numbers are high. Then as usual, you can enable this option to set up the camera and the background light automatically. This is fully ready for render, and it will look like this, or better than this when you render it out. We have two series of data in the Excel, so it generated two graphs, and these graphs are together but still on separate curves, 
which is suitably done by the add-on, so that they don't overlap with each other, except some weird cases. Now, line graph is also done, so we'll look into the third option under this add-on, which is the data comparison. We need to pick up our Excel file, or the CSV file here, which should also follow this particular template. This third column should contains only numbers, and here you can enter additional data to be displayed. Then here you need to enter the name of the picture files, for the flags, if you want to add some waving flags in your composition. And here you can mention the name of the display pictures, that will be added at the top of the data columns. Just like what we did earlier, you should first save a copy of this file, and make all your changes there, and then select that file as the input Excel or the CSV. Here we need to pick up the folder that has our flag pictures, and remember that the picture names are already given in the Excel file. Then we must enable this bake option, in order to bake the physics for the waving flags. But we did not enable this by default, because it can take a long time to bake everything, so you can disable this when you are experimenting with the colors and the other options here, and once your settings are final, you can then enable this in the final run. And here we need to pick up another folder, for the display pictures or logo. We have to just select the folder, the file names are given in the Excel. Then these two fields together control the range that is used for the height of the data columns with normalization. And you can control the animation speed from here, like before. Then this is the start frame for the animation, you should leave some 30-40 frames here, so that the flags can settle down. Then, here we have the color for the data bars, or the main data columns. You can either select a solid color from this color palette, or you can choose a material from this material list. It shows the materials that we already have in this file. If you want to use a particular material, first add that in your blend file, then you can open this function and choose that material. If you leave it blank, the add-on will create a new glossy material using this particular base color. This entire section has got various color options, like here we have the colors for the floor texture, then here we have the colors for the text fields. And finally, you can enable this option to automatically set up the light and the camera movement. So the output will be ready within a few moments, and you can immediately start rendering the scene. But we can see that the flags are not waving, that is because we did not bake the physics. We can bake it manually, or we can go back to our add-on. When you undo and open it again, you'll see that the old values are retained for all the fields, so you need not change everything again, just change the additional parts as you need and we're ready to run it for the final time. It will display a message like this, which means the baking is now happening. It will take some time, and then you can render the output like this. So creating an animation from your Excel file is now just a 5 minutes task. If you want, you can also change the materials or the background for further beautification. So I hope you'll find this add-on useful, and you can also look at our city line generator which is another useful add-on for a quick city line in the background of your video. Please feel free to contact us for any queries you may have on these products. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.